Hello, friends. I hope you must be in sound wealth and health and happiness. Today, again, I have to share you something which is not very pleasing. I am Dr. Amit Gupta and want to share you with another threat the world is facing. We are about to face another pandemic. Yesterday, I discussed the threat with Yersinia pestis, that is pandemic about plague. Today, again, I have to share you the news which is not very pleasing. And this news is that we may have to face another threat with a new strain of swine flu virus. H1N1, swine flu virus, we all are aware of it. The world has faced these pandemics in 1918 and 2009. Everyone is aware of it. But just a few days back, it has been found that a new strain of H1N1 is emerging, and that too again from China. From China, how so? We all know why it is called swine flu. What is the host? Pigs are the host. The virus resides in pigs, swines. This is why it is called swine flu virus. A new strain of H1N1, which is G4E1A. G4 means it's a variant of genotype 4. And we don't have vaccine against this new strain. We have vaccine against old strain of swine flu virus. My dear friend, we are not having vaccine against this G4E1A strain of H1N1 virus. So what is the take home message? My idea behind making this video is that even after this COVID threat, this Corona threat, we are about to face these two threats, these two pandemics. One is plague, which is caused by Yersinia pestis, which I shared in my yesterday's video. And another threat we are facing, the world is facing a pandemic threat with a new strain of H1N1, that is G4E1A1. So what we have to do? We have to take precautions, my dear friend. We have to be very careful. What precaution? Same precautions as we are taking in this COVID scenario, we have to maintain at least a one meter distance. We have to wear masks. We have to wash our hands properly. We should not touch our eyes, our nose with fingers. We should not press lift button like this. We should take lift button like this with dorsum of our hand. And we should immediately wash our hands. Whenever we are driving a scooter or a car, always wear gloves because we are touching those steering or some accelerator areas on a two-wheeler. So wear the gloves while driving. Dispose of those gloves when you reach your destination. Wash your hands again. No kissing, no hugging. We have to maintain proper isolation, proper distancing. So this 2020, my dear friend, don't think we will be free very soon with this coronavirus, we may fail. Although it's not proof that there is human-to-human -human transmission with this G4E1A strain of H1N1. Today, it is peak to human transmission. But you never know when it may turn to human-to-human -human transmission. And as soon as it turns to human-to-human -human transmission, the world will face another threat of pandemic. Let me share you a very small PPD. I believe in making very small videos with as much content and as much information as possible because in today's world, no one has time to watch those long, long videos. I have taken a pledge. I will be making very small videos and will try to share as much information as possible for the benefit of the society. Let me share you a very small PPT with you. This is swine flu virus, my dear friends. This is swine flu virus. This is new strain of swine flu virus. This is new strain. And this new strain of swine flu virus is G4E1A. G4 means it's a variant of genotype 4. This is new strain of swine flu virus, a very deadly, very deadly virus, very deadly strain of H1N1. And why it is called swine flu? Because the host is swine, host is pig. 
world has faced this swine flu pandemic in 1918 and 2009. Whole world is aware about this pandemic. We had bird flu, we had swine flu, and right now, it has been proved there is peak to human transmission, but as soon as it converts to human to human transmission, things will not be easy, my dear friends. Life will not be easy, my dear friends. So maintain proper precautions right now. Symptoms, once this virus enters, you may have high fever. You may complain of some coughing and sneezing, khansi jukam. You may have breathing difficulty, loss of appetite, is not that very common, but the common symptoms are high fever, coughing and sneezing, breathing difficulty, sans lene mein parishani ho sakti hai, khansi jukam ho sakta hai, jyada bukhar ha sakta hai. Right now, we are having pick to human, but as soon as it converts to human to human transmission, whole world will face the threat. How does it spread? It's a spread from pigs to humans. What precautions have to be taken? The precautions have to be taken, do's and don'ts. What you can do, what you cannot do, what is allowed. My dear friends, have a look here. What is allowed? What should be done? Cover your nose and mouth with a disposable tissue when coughing and sneezing. Jab bhi aap khas rahe hai, jukam hai, to tissue ko rakhiye apne naak ke upar. Cover your nose and mouth with a disposable tissue. And what you will be doing? With that disposable tissue, you have kept it on your mouth and nose. Dispose of used tissues properly immediately after the use. You have used the tissue when you are coughing and sneezing. Khasiya jukam aya, tissue lagaya, aur usko dustbin mein immediately fek liya. Regularly wash hands with soap and water. Regularly, you should wash your hands with soap and water. And if you have your symptoms, seek medical advice immediately consult your doctor have faith in your doctor i keep on saying every time you should not take any drug any medicine without consulting your doctor if you have flu-like symptoms keep a distance of at least one meter from other people if you are having some cough some kuraida aapko khasi hua aapko jukam hua jada bukhar aya flu-like symptoms hai. even if it is not yet proved as h1n1 Keep a one meter distance at your home with your immediate close relatives as well, even with your parents, with your siblings, brother, sister. Keep a one meter distance with them if you are having these kind of symptoms. Stay away from work, school, or crowded places. Kids should not go to school. You should avoid crowded places. If you are going to Connaught Place in Delhi or Chandni Chowk in Delhi or something like that, these crowded areas there is high risk that a large number of population may be infected. What you will not be doing? What you will not be doing? Avoid hugging, kissing, and shaking hands when greeting. Namaste, my dear friend. Our old Indian culture is the best. Old is cold. Namaste is the best. Avoid touching eyes, nose, or mouth with unwashed hands. If you need to touch, you may have some itching, my dear friend. There may be itching. Things are unavoidable. So wash hands properly. Then you can do something. But not before washing your hands. Prevention from swine flu, as we have discussed, don't touch eyes after interact with other people and open it. Don't touch your eyes. Once you interact with other people, don't touch eyes after interaction don't interact with pigs and swine because this is swine flu it is spreads via pigs and swine so don't interact because this pig to human transmission has been found more in those people who are working in pig farms there are slaughterhouses in china pig slaughterhouses all those people were infected and recently they have been found to be infected with this while you go to public don't forget to wear gloves and masks. So you have to wear gloves and masks. This 2020 will be full of gloves and masks, my dear friend. Keep the distance from swine flu patient. Of course, we know. And this distance has to be at least one meter. 
and while the flu is pandemic stage about to avoid to go to public places like colleges railway station and hospitals avoid these crowded places as we have discussed avoid this it is not allowed avoid touching eyes with nose or mouth with unwashed hands and if you have flu like symptoms avoid to go to school colleges as we have just discussed and it is spreads via pigs swine this is why it is called swine flu so keep distance from pigs keep distance from swine although statistically it is said that it does not spread will properly cooked pork properly cooked meat pig meat pork but sometimes it may be uncooked sometimes it may be semi cooked so avoid pork avoid almost all non vegetarian food because you know what's happening the ultimate source is live animal markets of china there are live animal markets of china and through these areas whole world is getting affected not only the disease whole world economy is getting affected we have drugs we have drugs we know that oseltamivir everyone is aware of this oseltamivir i am not marketing any company everyone knows oseltamivir this is given for treatment this is given for prophylaxis also oseltamivir acts as prophylaxis in plague video yesterday i told prophylactic drug for plague is tetracycline 500 mg four times in a day morning afternoon evening night and similarly this oseltamivir is 75 mg it can be used both for prevention as well as for treatment there is another drug this drug is genamivir this genamivir is usually taken through inhalation injections are also available it is taken through inhalation we have a vaccine also this h1n1 vaccine but the pity my dear friends says we are having vaccines against all old strains of swine flu we are not having any vaccine against the g4e1a which is a new strain of swine flu so a new vaccine has to be developed and the whole world know you all know the swine flu vaccine has to be taken every year annually so my dear friends this is the information which i want to share with you you have to avoid you have to avoid contact with pigs stay away don't try to eat pork because statistically it is said that it does not spread via cooked properly cooked pork but sometimes as i discussed earlier pork may be uncooked it may be semi cooked as well so the take home message by dear friends is this 2020 we are having two more threats after this corona one is the threat of plague which i discussed in my yesterday's video and another threat we are facing is with this new strain of h1n1 this is g4e1a genotype 4 variant what we have to do we have drugs oseltamivir which can be used for prevention and treatment that's true vaccine we don't have against this h1n1 right now the good thing is only pig to human transmission has been proved so we will definitely stay away from these pigs and swine but as soon as it converts to human to human things will not be easy for us what we have to do keep a distance of 1 meter whenever you suffer from any cough and coryza immediately consult your doctor stay away with your family member use the tissue use the tissue while coughing and sneezing and immediately throw this tissue in the dustbin don't touch your eyes your nose whenever you have gone outside and come in but first wash your hand then only you allowed to touch your nose and eye that's all my friends be very careful this 2020 the take home message is we have to survive not only survive we should contribute to the society i have taken a plan i had never made any videos recently just for last 15 to 20 days i have started making these videos and now i have taken a pledge i will do my level best to transform this society both physically and emotionally thank you very much namaste follow this namaste na